there are certainly certain people in professional wrestling and association WWE that I have a lot more respect for than others. There are certain people in wrestling that even if I don't talk about them a whole lot, you really don't hear me say much bad or negative about them. And in fact, if you probably go through my history, you'll see that I'm relatively positive in my reaction towards them, what I say about them, etc. And I believe one of those people that I have always kind of held with a lot of respect, somebody that I have enjoyed over the years, for the most part, is Ron the Truth Killings, our truth He's earned that right. This is a man that you, you don't even think about it or realize it at first. Is he's going to be 52 this month. 52! Round the truth killings. Our truth will be 52 later on in January. That's insane to me. It's one of those things that makes me feel kind of old because I remember it was K Quick. I remember him in WWF in the Attitude Era, right? Holy shit. Like, that's how far back this guy goes. And this is how long he has been a presence in professional wrestling. Like, this is not some dude that hit his stride late in his career. This is a guy that went on to have a very long, I'm sure certainly for him, fruitful, productive professional wrestling sports entertainer career. He's been around two and a half damn decades. The time just flies by. And as I think about him, you know, even though he has a role now and it's to provide some comic relief, and he doesn't get in the ring a whole lot, and usually when he does, he's putting people over, he's doing silly things, you know, to try and entertain people, interject some humor and some fun and brevity into professional wrestling, into the WWE presentation and product. <clears throat> you know, we're getting close to a point where our truth isn't going to be doing this for much longer. At least you would think. And to the best of my recollection, the best that I can tell, the best that I know, I don't recall R-Truth ever, e e ever having a real deal one-on-one -on -one singles match at WrestleMania. No 24-7 title stuff, no comedy stuff, no skit stuff. Like, real deal legit singles match at WrestleMania. And when I think about all the people that have gotten WrestleMania matches over the years, tag team matches, Money in the Bank matches, Truth's had some of those, right? But the best that I can recall, I don't remember him ever having a one-on-one, -on -one properly developed feud culminate in a match at WrestleMania. Has he ever had a singles match at WrestleMania? That's insane to me. This guy has been around for so damn long. He was a multiple time NWA World Heavyweight Champion in TNA. He was Ron the Truth Killings, damn it. Him and Pac-Man Jones, oh fuck yeah, sign me up for that shit. But this guy has been around for a long, long time. His three life crew stuff just love Ron the Truth Killings, if you can't tell. And now as we look ahead in a couple of months, beginning of April, to WrestleMania 40, for all the stuff people are going to talk about involving that show, and all the big matches, and all the other stuff, and all the people over the years, and even this year, that are going to get a match at WrestleMania. The time has come for our truth to get a one-on-one -on -one singles match at WrestleMania. He deserves that. He's earned that. He merits that respect, that consideration, that honor from WWE. Because he has been such a damn good soldier 
for this company for so many years. Heel, babyface, serious, little Jimmy, comedian type of shit. 24-7, internet, galactic, whatever the fuck, can't get out, lose track of it all, right? As much as anybody on the roster, in my opinion, he legitimately deserves that shine and that spotlight from having a featured one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania. And you've got options with where you could go with this stuff. You could do something with him in Judgment Day. Imagine R-Truth versus Dominic Mysterio at WrestleMania. The heat that Dominic would have would be insane. In Philly, that crowd would be electric behind R-Truth. You don't think for a moment they wouldn't get injected with Truth Mania and realize what's going on and saying, holy shit, R-Truth's got a one-on-one -on -one WrestleMania match? Hell yeah, we're going to get behind him. Fuck Dominic Mysterio. Or is it J.D. McDonald? I don't give a damn who it is. Give him that spotlight, man. Him and Dominic Mysterio if you want to go in a different direction. Okay, you know what? Now, I'll say this. You know I want to see John Cena versus Randy Orton at WrestleMania 40 once in a lifetime. This time it counts. However... If the WWE does not go in that direction, then there is only one other logical choice. R-Truth against his hero and role model, John Cena at WrestleMania. Yes, I said it. You know that shit would be comedy gold. You know that would be good. You know it deep down in the cackles of your soul. There would be history there. Hell, you could sit there and throw him at Logan Paul for the U.S. championship. Logan Paul can do a lot of great things, can work and have a really good match with R-Truth relative to what they would be expected to do on the card. Logan Paul has a personality, a punchable face that could get him heat. And R-Truth in that spot could bring some comedy and fun and entertainment. R-Truth versus Logan Paul at WrestleMania 40 for the U.S. title. R-Truth, the guy that's been there in WWE for so many years. The guy that's had to sit there while guys like Logan Paul have gotten one-on-one -on -one matches at WrestleMania. There's so many angles you can take with this. Da, 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 Truth Mania, just do it, WWE. Most of the matches at WrestleMania, let's be clear, nobody's going to remember five years from now any damn ways, let alone three years from now. But what we will remember are a couple of things. And being able to see R-Truth get a legit one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania, in my opinion, would be one of them. He's going to be a WWE Hall of Famer someday, and damn right he should be. He freaking deserves it. He's been too good for that company. He's done too many things over the years. He's done everything they asked him. Now is the time that we as fans ask them to give him something in return. Give us something in return. We don't want it. We don't need it. We demand it. We want our truth to have a one-on-one -on -one singles match at WrestleMania 40. The Philly crowd would eat it up. I promise you. It's time for Truth Mania to run wild!